So this is the lemongrass I brought back from Jamaica and I've got it in some water and I'm going to leave it on the windowsill over here so to make it, you know, one soak up and do him thing. So I'm going to leave him right there, make him go on, you know, grow some roots and then we'll come back and I'll show you what's going on with my lemongrass. Let me show you. We have pine and grow by us as well. I left this pine for three weeks. Well, look, people. It's growing. It's going to take a long time. But it's a grow. It's a grow, man. Let me know water. Not grow. Everybody over here look healthy and nice. For the last three weeks, I've not been here. Apart from the pepper. I pepper them dry up to backside. <laughs> Our kids, them look good though. Them blue mountain thing. Come with the on certain things. You need to dust right now. But yeah, everything looking nice. We can't get over outside though. Can't get over outside. So yeah, my lemon grass, I can grow here. So, and then we come back and show you my potting and you know, make it look nice. Look who's got some roots. My lemon grass. Look. This week is gonna be two weeks since I've been back. And look at my lemongrass. I didn't even cut it off to clean. I just wanted to leave it, make it just do what I do. And yeah, I'm getting roots. So we soon can plant outside and have lemongrass tea. Even look, a baby shoot there. Ah, oh, happy day. Yay. So this is my lemongrass that I brought back from Jamaica, as I stated got so many roots in there i'm just gonna clean up a little bit and then i'm gonna put it in a pot very soon pruning is a very essential part of caring for your lemongrass plants remember that so by trimming the leaves and the stalk regularly this is going to promote new growth and it's going to prevent the plant from you know becoming overcrowded and suffocate them and stunt them and mildew them and all of them something there so by trimming them and pruning them, they're going to stay healthy and vibrant and it's going to ensure that you have fresh, abundant supply of lemongrass for your culinary or for your medical use. But remember, sharp me, your scissors now <laughs> are your pruning shears. So you won't damage the plant while pruning, all right? Happy pruning! <laughs> So after pruning, I split the plant into two and you have two root systems that is strong and nice and almost ready to be potted. So now I'm just going to put it back over in the station it was in to just let it firm up itself again because I pruned it. I want it to recover and then we can start again. But this is the amount I took off it so it would never damage the plant. All right. back from Jamaica. I wrapped it up in newspaper, soaked the newspaper and put it into like a little carrier bag, like a plastic bag or a Ziploc bag, use the right words. And yeah, look, I have a whole heap of roots in there. So this is when I came back from Jamaica. It only had, I only had two, this one and this main stem. And now I've got five, I've got four, f no, five new shoots and the two ones. So I've got seven in all. So I'm going to be planting this out today and I just wanted to show you my newest herb to the garden, which is lemongrass. Oh my God. You know how I love my lemon balm. This is my lemongrass. And I know you've seen, you know, videos around how you can plant your own lemongrass. So I went to the supermarket and you saw the clip already and I bought lightly and light and citrusy lemongrass. So I'm going to catch these as well. So I'm going to take these ones out and plant these ones. And then I'm going to, you know, try and catch these ones. But where I'm going to store my lemon balm when I plant it, I'm going to store it in the in here where it's warm and nice. So this is where I'm going to put it. Because, you know, it's in the kitchen. It was growing nicely. I mean, I really want to shock him. So I'm going to keep him out for today and then carry him back in. And then tomorrow I'm going to carry him back out again until the place gets a bit warm. Because you know them weather, you know. So great for tropical plants, then we get shock. Then we go in on shock. 
so yeah that's my lemon balm so that's what we're gonna do today let me go and get a pot grabbing some compost and i'm going to be planting my lemon grass out today today is the day we're gonna plant him we're gonna earth him mama earth wants you oh come on the dirt we need right so I've got two pots of compost here because I've got two pieces of lemon grass all right so the compost is moist very very moist so all I'm gonna do now is just to get the lemon grass and just put it in here but I'm going to do the no dig method so I'm just gonna put a little dentation indentation in the dirt and then I'm gonna use the lemon balm. So I'm just gonna take them out gently out of the container. And I've got two pieces here. Gently. Okay, so that's a lot of root. So I've got two pieces here, and then these are gonna split into three eventually. So I would normally strip this back, but I'm not gonna touch anything. I'm just gonna pop him in. And then I really like it too deep because they like grass. Yeah, just pop him in. That's it. And let him, you know, establish himself. Right? Give it a little bit more room down here, so because I don't want to bury too much in. And then the second one is the same thing. Look how big and nice this one is. You can see roots developing from this shoot as well and there's a baby shoot coming through here so this is amazing so i'm just gonna pop this root in and keep him like just like that you don't like it too deep you don't like it too deep at all yeah and then that's my two lemongrass planted and then i'm gonna water it and watch my babies grow all right <laughs> a lot of people have different ways of planting it why me just a plant it so some people would have cut it down and make it start shoot from beginning we never got take no chance with this because i was taking it from jamaica and i wanted to be gentle with it as much as i could you know what i mean so let me just get the scissors and snip this bit off there that's it so this is how I plant my lemongrass. So I'm going to put these now into the greenhouse and let those, you know, develop a bit further. Hopefully I'm doing the right thing, guys. But I think we'll be fine right here. So with everybody else. So I'm just going to leave him right here. So put him closer to the nasturtium and here. And then we're going to come water him now, okay? And I'm not going to water it from above. I'm going to water it from below. Because I don't want it to have, you know, mold onto the leaves. And then get rotten. Alright. So that's it. Give some to the nasturtium as well. Yeah. So that's it. This is where I'm going to keep my lemongrass. And let's just run through some of the benefits of lemongrass. And why it's so important to have some in your garden lemongrass is a tropical plant that we use in the caribbean as a herbal medicine mommy often make herbal teas or sometimes she'll cook it and she'll give us for you know different elements it has a citrus flavor and it's often used as a tea or a medicine for when you have indigestion or if you have inflammation or if you're anxious, if you suffer from anxiety, lemongrass is perfect for that. You can use it fresh or dry or you can powder it down and use it in you know different type of recipes what you've got. Digestive issues, if you're having digestive issues and you drink lemongrass, it's going to help such, 
issues like bloating, less constipation and indigestion. It's amazing for that, trust me. And because of its anti-inflammatory properties, it's going to reduce inflammation in the, in the body, throughout the whole entire body. It also have antioxidant properties, which is rich in antioxidant that is going to help protect you from, you know, free radicals, all right? So your damage is going to help to repair your cells. It also is a stress reliever because of the aroma it gives off. It has this calming effect on the body and that helps to reduce stress and anxiety. So if you're going to plant your lemongrass, you're going to need to make sure you have a sunny, warm location with well-drained soil. You're going to plant it in, either into a pot or into the ground. You're going to make sure you water your lemongrass plant because it's, come on, it's a grass and grass love water. But if you're in a hot climate, you have to make sure you water it constantly. You know what I mean? Like every day you water your lemongrass because the, the sun evaporate water like no go it needs to be moist not waterlogged all right you need to prune the leaves and trim the stalks of the plant regular to encourage you know new growth and prevent overcrowding like what i did so i trimmed off some of the um, brown leaves and that will help new growth to come around and it will help less mold as well and mildew so when you're harvesting your lemongrass, you're going to cut the stalk close to the base. So you're going to use a sharp knife or scissors and avoid damaging the plant. But if you can get it above the node, get it above the node. Just leave the node in because the node is where the roots going to come from and you know how that works. If you're in winter climates like myself, you're going to make sure you bring your lemongrass pots in because the winter months, nah, go be nice to them. And you remember me telling you them kind of fragile than a like you know sudden cold breeze and hence that's why i take mine in so now go see a clip of me taking in my lemongrass because why it never work outside but if you follow all of these care tips you're gonna full dry your lemongrass growing in your garden you're gonna use it for your culinary use or potential you know medicinal properties so you're gonna have like a little apothecary there going on so you can you know benefit from its health properties all right let's go planting so this is what we're gonna do so as i said before you're gonna make sure the ones you get from the supermarket have the nodes down here you see those those things here so yeah those are the nodes so that's where the roots gonna come from so you're gonna make sure you have that when you're purchasing your you know lemongrass from the supermarket because that's where the roots are going to come from. I'm going to take off the first outer layer, but I'm going to leave this because that's like a little shoot coming up. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to soak these into water, but I'm going to cut them first and then put them into the jar. And then that's going to help the roots to come. So I'm just going to cut above the node and keep those. Those I'm going to use for my teas and my cooking. So I'm going to carry those in. But these ones, I'm going to make sure they sprout. The ones I took from Jamaica, they were already um, growing in the garden, my friend's garden. They were growing in their garden. And I just went there and just took it out of the ground. But it was, you know, connected to a main one. So I just collected that one. But it had a little bit of, um, I knew it would have roots on it because it had nodes on it. So, and then I just carry it. Wrapped up in newspaper, wait, 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 put in a one little Ziploc bag and carry it over. And then when I reach here, I just put it in water straight away. So, yeah. So, now I'm just going to add some water to it and make sure that this stays in the water until I start to see roots springing from the lemongrass shoots. All right. So, I'm going to carry this one inside the house. Because it needs to be warm. And in the kitchen is warm. Because we're cooking there. We're like, you know, we're living inside the house. It's enclosed as well. So, yeah. This is where I kept the first one in the kitchen right there. And I'm going to put that one there as well. So when the sun sets from the side, it's just going to, you know, warm up that jar. So I'm going to keep it inside to let it germinate. To let it, you know, sprout some roots. And then we can take it outside after. Okie dokie. Guys, look. They all shooting. Read for the stars. So this is a supermarket lemongrass. 
I think I see roots. Look, you see that, sir? That's a suck of water. I like sugar cane as well, isn't it? Them bamboo. Them easy to catch. So if you go to the supermarket and see, you know, the nodes, them down there, so you're good to go. But if it cut off, no bother with you. No matter my fingernail, I'm turmeric. May I drink turmeric juice? Mm -mm. So yeah, I'm putting back over and I call my guy. Right now, so where the sun come up as well. And I mean, when the sun go down, so it's nice over there. Oh, you like my orchid? Oh yeah, hi baby. This is my beautiful orchid, say hi. And then there's another one blooming. This one is actually, you know, bloom and tub go down as well. Yeah, let go sanctum over here, so yeah. But yeah, lemon grass, I go with the thing, lemon grass. So let me show you the other one them, because I took them in. Look at my babies over there. I took them in, guys, I had to. I wasn't taking no chance with them. So I took them in and I'm in here. So we so can get to your morning time. Looking nice, isn't it? She are going, she are going, she are going good. Yep, that's my lemongrass over there. Also, my aloe vera plant. But yeah, this is the little corner. So you guys can be lemongrass in soon if you know. Just buy it from the supermarket. Find them little nodes at the bottom of the show, you know. Put in a glass of water or whatever. And just watch it go. I just few days that you know, probably about four days that now. We'll check back and see. I may me put it in the video. Alright, so plant some lemon grass today. Happy lemon grassing. <laughs> so I'm in Asda and I've just taken up this lemon grass. Um you know the one I've got in my kitchen in the windowsill? It's growing and I got that from Jamaica. So I was thinking if I could get the lemongrass with this the bottom still like that. Do you see that little nodule or node there? So you know so that's gonna have a leaf and that. So if I put these in water, it may sprout. So this is the supermarket lemongrass I'm gonna bring home the 70 feet each and I'm gonna try and see if I can regrow them. I've got two in here, but I only think only three is gonna come out. But this one's caught. But we're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. Now you know all the health benefits that lemongrass offers to you. It's gonna help in your digestive health. It has anti-inflammatory properties, so it's gonna reduce inflammation in the body. It also has antioxidant properties, which is gonna lower the risk of chronic disease. And it also gives stress relieving, you know, calming effect. And if you use it in your skincare products, it's gonna cleanse and tone, you know your body as well and with just a few little steps of getting introduction to lemon grass you will realize that you become um, a bond that you can't break <laughs> i leave this to everyone <laughs>